Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where we got pulled into another fight with angsty drow. This is so typical though. I say like I'm an expert in drow lore, which I am not. I've read half the first Drist book. Um, but in that, they make it very explicitly clear that everybody's always scheming. And it's, it's Loth's way of like keeping like a sort of like a chaotic order where like... Um, she things stay in balance by like n no one family or city state has like the like all power uh there's like a bunch of them and they kind of keep each other in check and there's this, like twisted justice system where like you freaking if you can murder somebody without getting caught it's great but if you get caught your whole family is killed or something i don't know it's it's a little more complicated than that but it's just so typical like what he was saying was just so typical of like a, a family um and they do, the, the males, at least, I don't know how they're going to do it in this one, but the males tend to be wizards, but the women are, like, high priestesses. Um, and so they're more powerful magic, but the males are fighters, even though the women are generally stronger than the men. Um, so there's women fighters, too. Um, but at least in the Drist books, they seem to prefer being priestesses but not all of them can be priestesses and only the nobility has a good time the commoners have a really sucky time um but anyway yeah so these are maybe male um especially if there's a male in charge i don't think a woman would be under like under a male's purview at all um so can i oh i want to push him off so bad i do enjoy pushing people off but then i lose the loot and i get sad about it <laughs> oh well oh see this is a good why i did not Ooh, memory shard i'll take that thank you we'll send that to camp Although they only worked together for a short time, it is hard to overstate the influence Lenore, the cleric of Mistra, had on Yir the Sparkstruck, who often likened harnessing lightning to manipulating the weave. Okay. I see hell of the ice-cold handle of what once have been a staff. A single screw sticks out from the top. Okay, so there's it's like half of a weapon. Got it. Come on. Hey, you can't get me. I'm the gingerbread man. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, well, it didn't work! Oh, nice. I forgot I still had that from the last thing I was doing. It's too bad Asterion wasn't a little closer, but that was my bad. Tikothi, I thought that, definitely thought that said Timothy. Arkag... I mean, I guess I could... use non-lethal but I don't really have a reason to do that I think maybe later they'll be like the drow will be like why did you kill some of us but actually they probably wouldn't care For one thing probably nobody maybe nobody remembers this guy For another thing they're like well he was weak ah, so he died very nice uh, let's moonbeam these people. Where did it go? Um, I'm gonna be very upsetty, spaghetti. If that didn't work the way I, I tried to do it, it didn't. Where did my spell go? I can push you off from up here, my dude. And they did not choose a good place to from from whence which to attack me. They, oh, they hit me! Alas. Oh, we can try this one. There we go. Silly me. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have pushed him off, because now I have to... Where is Moonbeam? Where did it go? I could move it, but, like, where did it go initially? <laughs> I 
I could throw stuff at him, but I don't want to. Oh, he got burned. I'll just do it again. I'll push you off again. I will. This is great. I love having the high ground. Now, if anybody wants to come through, they have to come through the moonbeam. But I think they're probably trying to probably try to throw arrows at me. Oh! Oh, you have a lot of health. You only have one health left now. What happened? How did you get knocked? Where did he? Where did? Where did steering go? Asterion? How did you get knocked down there? I wasn't even looking! I was like, how did he get prone? But how did he get there? I was looking at this guy's health. Oh my gosh. Wakey wakey, Asterion. Sorry, you had to go through that. Jeez. He's like trying to get back. He's like, Ugh. Oh my gosh, Asterion! Why did he walk through? He's actually separated from me. So I have no idea. How do I turn it no off? Don't stop me yet. Turn it off! <laughs> so I didn't realize. I didn't even think about the fact that he continued to take damage on his corpse after that. I'm too slow. I'm such an idiot. He just walked right through a radiant moonbeam. He's a vampire. Why? I wish the AI in this game wasn't so stupid. They're so stupid. Could you freaking... He's going to get so mad at me when he wakes up. He's like, why did you radiant damage me? I'm going to be like, why did you walk through... It was a stationary moonbeam. You could have just waited. Ugh. My gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wake up. <laughs> I hope I have I do! Yay! Wake up. I just... Are you okay? Yes. Okay, bye! He's not gonna say anything about it. Ooh, arsonist oil. Oh! Converts targets fire resistance to fire vulnerability. Targets that are immune to fire are unaffected. That makes sense. It was then that Swage tossed the oil, splattered the Cambian, and all at once its skin but brilliant carmine dull to dark, a red like cheap wine, and the fiend vented the sound of anguish I almost pitied, for its very affinity for fire was now undone. Ooh! Ray of fear and wounding ray, some necromancy spells. Spectators are hideous aberrations that float above ground. Oh, aberration, wait. Is that one of my things? No, fiend, undead, celestial? Fiends, undead, and... So, yeah. Why, why would my divine... Oh, I guess my divine sense. Okay, that does make sense. I would be able to sense celestials better. Hmm. This one, what was one of them said... It marks your target with light, preventing it from turning invisible. That's good to know. We should probably go to bed, honestly. I think we've used up almost everything. Once we... Here. Quick save. We did really well in those fights. I'm oh, quite oh pleased God. with us. <gasps> Afraid Drowhood. That's cool. Do you think Asterion wants that? Because it's a dexterity thing. Asterian's like, what I want is a nap. Oh, I'm gonna cover up his handsome face. Nah. Or here, I guess, um, it... So, well, I'll just hide helmet in general. Dexterity saving throws plus one. Sure. Oh, hey! This drow wasn't woken up. On my way. I wonder if, um... At least things have stayed interesting. I wonder if I can wake this one up. Then through. With my basilisk stuff. 
Look at that petrified face. Well, here, I'm gonna say it again just because I'm paranoid. Um. Basilisk. Let's see. <gasps> no! Okay, we're not doing it then. <laughs> I was curious if I woke him up, if it would, um. If they would. If, like, if, like the situation would be resolved differently, but apparently not. So we are gonna load the game. Oh, and I will actually use my necromancy powers. I forgot. Or my necromancy speak with the dead spell. Which I feel like is perfectly fine as a religious -y type person to have. Speaking with the dead is very... can be a divine thing also. I tell myself. This is probably act two. I was thinking about, I was talking with my friend the other day and I was like, this is act one here in that gray area. Oh, that's probably that like shadowy, like woo, like the, what is it? The shadow dark or whatever it is that like the, the mist of evil that like everybody gets corrupted by. That's probably, that, and that's Moonrise Towers probably. And then beyond that is Baldur's Gate. And that I know is in act three because I've, I've figured things out over time. Um, but not like a ton of things, just some things. So I did this area, but now I really want to go over to th that area where the Minotaurs were. I want to explore all the things. And why is there all these ropes here? Keeping this here. There's oh, there's probably something in there. Bet you, I bet you money that there's something in there. This thing? A chasm creeper? Oh no, please don't. I was gonna go to bed, wasn't I? Okay, I'm gonna reload. <laughs> so my friends don't explode. What's in the. Is it, okay, it's just money and holy water! Ooh, cool. Okay. Let me reload the game. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> I, I didn't see anything. I, I wasn't close enough to the to the fog trap. I was like, wait a second, why did that why did that explode? But it wasn't. It was something else closer to like the foreground that exploded. I think it was that round shape. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm kind of surprised Baldur's Gate is not act two, honestly. But okay, we need to go. We need to go to bed. Yeah, we need to go to bed. Then we can continue exploring Latia. Oh, I love it! Oh, you guys, look! I was really hoping the campsite for the Underdark would be really cool. It is. There's my puppy and my Albert! My Albert! Oh my gosh, you guys, it's adorable! Oh my gosh, I love it. It looks like a little, like a fairy garden. And there's my mirror. Oh, it looks like a fairy garden. <laughs> Withers is just chilling. Oh my gosh. I feel, like there's not, there's, I feel like there's not enough merchants. I do enjoy our conversations. What do you <gasps> That's need? That's right, I put him in the purple. He does look excellent in the purple. Everybody good? Well met. Oh, okay. Nothing. Nobody's got nothing to say. Oh, Halson's still. Why can't. Halson, why aren't you helping me? Why can't I pick you? Come with me. You wish to speak? Bye. Puppy, puppy, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, my dog. My good dog. Let me get the ball. Where's the ball? I should bring Scratch around in the Underdark. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I am, my good boy. Oh my gosh, I'm still having the armor glitch from this. Um, yeah, because Scratch can find things, but usually this, the stuff Scratch finds is stuff I could find by myself. As far as, at least, the like twice I've used him. Oh, it doesn't, like, once you, once it leaves your inventory, it goes back to, like, the bottom. 
I see. Hello. You are not food. You are friend. I am. You like it here, huh? Nice here. The caves smell like rotting meat. Goblin coat smells like goblins. Can I pet you? Everybody approves. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's <gasps> so cute. It's probably gonna eat us all when it grows up. When when he grows, she he she. I don't think it's told us. I don't want to say it looks like I'm stuck with you. Just don't eat my dog. Oh hi. Oh hi. <laughs> okay, nobody has anything to say. I, I kind of thought people would have something to say about the Underdark. Speak. Uh, apparently, I was like, apparently I can't. Um, Shadowheart or Asterion? You guys got anything to say? Well, hello. What can I do for you? You look like you're about to fall over. Okay, bye. May the darkness protect you. Oh, well, thank you. Does that mean she likes Fine. me? What's on your mind? I don't think I've ever yeah, she does. I don't quite like you. And if I have, I can't remember them. After all, what I shared with you about my past, about being saved from the wolf, that is not something I would normally even dream of sharing. Okay, nice. Bye bye. Oh, well, yes. Oh, nothing exciting is going to happen in my sleep. I say, hoping something exciting happens in my sleep. Yes. Oh. Oh, maybe I didn't click end the day. It was just. Oh, okay, I see. I didn't hit long rest. Okay, let's see if anybody. Sorry, let's see if anybody has anything to say now. Speak. I was I was kind of curious why I was still in my armor. The lady of sorrows guide us. Did you want something? Did you all of a sudden just start to hate me? Fine. What's on your mind? I don't think Okay. After all. Wh why did she with you about my past? Wh Jeez. Yes. Maybe it's maybe it's because I asked her uh, twice in a row. And she was like, "Please, like we had a good heartfelt conversation for half a second. I'm good." Okay. Yep. Nobody had anything new to say. Better not be cursed. And I was, I was like, we walked by, and I was like, "Why isn't the fire lit earlier?" I was like, "This is weird." Um, but here we go. Apparently, there's an achievement you can get for. You're doing all of doing wine for everything for your whole dinner or some sort of alcohol. Maybe I didn't do all alcohol. My dog. Uh, hello. Uh, hurry. Uh, my dog. My puppy. My Albert. I would go to war for you. What is wrong? I have animal handling. What's going on? I thought something was wrong. Oh my gosh. I'm just a bad dream. Oh, okay. It's, it's all right. Shh. Okay. Phew. Goblins had me in a cage. Oh, okay. Pokes me with pointy sticks. Gosh, now it was just a nightmare. We're safe here with Mistress. <laughs> He'll settle in. Give it a little time. My, my babies. Oh my gosh, they're friends. And like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy about that. Look at him. So they're both boys. My little boys. I'm actually going to tear up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, and Mistress, yeah. 
Oh my gosh. Because he's been calling me friend up till now, but now I'm Mr. Guys. <laughs> and I just gotta say, it is so nice to be a woman in a video game. Like, it's just nice to be like, if, I don't know, it's like a little tiny thing, but I'm always like, ooh, like when they say she or mistress or whatever. Uh, and I'm just like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> you know? I don't know. It's just a little bit, a little thing that I enjoy. Uh, you two look cozy together, bad dreams aside. He's still young. I remember Gonwick would let me sleep under his cloak when I was a pup. It helps. Well, baby. Uh, did you call me mistress just now? I, I, I suppose I did. You've been good to us. To both of us. Gonwick would be happy I'm with you, I think. Like it here. I'm gonna cry. I'm on fire. Scratch reminds me of Big Brother. Yeah, did you... <laughs> Hold on a second. Used to. Mother ate him. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're both welcome here. My babies. Oh. <gasps> The greatest joy. <laughs> Fed them at the same Thank you. time. I'm gonna cry. I'm so emotional when it comes to puppy dogs. <laughs> Yay! Long rest using only alcohol. Time honored dwarf tradition. Whoop whoop. <laughs> I got the achievement, but I kind of cheated because I knew what the achievement was. Um. I do need to cast to speak in with the animal. Amicus. Amicus. A sprakenzi. Oh my gosh, what is it with in Deutsch? Tier? Sprakenzi tier? D tier? Sprakken D tier. Or tier D sprakken. I'm, I'm butchering it. That's fine. Um. But yes, my children, they're so cute. Look at the, how many animals can I accumulate? <laughs> I love them very much. And why is Scratch so, oh, uh, maybe he's not. I like, he looks dirty. Look, he's following him around. The owlbear is following Scratch around like a big brother. That's so sweet. If the devs made it so that the owlbear eventually tries to eat Scratch or does eat Scratch, I'm gonna stop playing. Like, that's just mean. These two, let these two be friends, please. I know that the thing's always like, uh, the owlbear stuff's always like, you know, oh, eventually when they grow up, they'll just eat you. And I'm like, listen, here. Listen. Oh my gosh, these two are so cute. Okay. Let's leave and return to my adventure. All well, whoa, 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 well rested. This thing exploded. Okay, away with you. I do want this. Step carefully. There's a trap. The fog is gone, though. Unless I just missed it. Um, is there just something I can throw? I need to keep, like, throwable things on me. Maybe I should keep some armor sets. You think boots would work? Oh, I could have well, Asterion hello. try to disarm it, I guess. Uh, 30? Well, let's give it a roll, I guess. In there. We would actually, it's not possible, even with a crit, well, it would only be possible with a crit success. Um, but with a plus 9, we cannot, cannot do it. But now I think I don't have any more disarm stuff, but that's okay, whatever. Quick step. Quick step. Let's see. I am very I strong. Mind. I will attempt to and jump over well, here. In it. Oh, okay, fine. And have Carlac do it too. No, pick Carlac. What do I have to? Do? I am double clicking on her. Uh, nothing happening. No, he's oh. Digging with my bare hands. Well, oh, it's because we're not connected. 
I was like, we I have a shovel, but we would have to be connected. Really? No use digging with my bare Only hands. I can do it? No hope of clearing this without a shovel. I had three shovels in my inventory. I saw them. I know I did. I 100 right here. Shovel. The website lied to me. The website said that if I I need a shovel to dig this up. Dropped my shovels that I would be able to pick them up and it would reactivate them. But oh well, I guess no uh, no treasure for me. He's gonna come. Carlat can. Take precise. Okay, why? Why? What's that? Uh, what that? What that do? Uh, okay. Uh, let's just let's jump. Too high. It's too high. I knew. Okay, Misty step. It's Stop me yet. Um, I need to be a Starian. Too high, too far. Oh, can the Starian not do it? A Starian's trapped. Oh no. Maybe if I move Carlac away. Well, let's get as many of you off that dangerous ledge as possible. Oh, a bullet. Way out down there. Okay, okay, okay. How nice of it to do that Careful, for us. Let's hope we can all make the jump. These boots have seen everything. Come on, Aster. I was like, if, if freaking Will can make it, Asterian can make it. Oh, and this was where Asterian had his moment of. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, is it the same thing? It would apparently be the same thing. That's uh. <gasps> <Ape>! what? <laughs> what? I purposefully, I purposefully, <laughs> I put a stairway up there because I was like, oh, excellent. When it comes out of the ground, it'll be right there. And Asterion will have the high ground. And no, it just comes out and jumps right on his head. Out of everybody. And I don't think it took moonbeam damage. Blah. Uh, did it just land on his... It just... Why is it after Asterion? And I can't... Oh, I can't... It just, it really did. It landed right on top of Asterian. I'm pretty sure. I think Asterian is under there. I was I was trying to spread people out so that when it did like a like an AOE thing, it wouldn't get us all. Jeez. Maybe I smite it instead of moonbeaming it. What are you, actually? A monstrosity. Okay, it's kind of cute, honestly. Maybe until it opens its mouth, but look at that. This is a this is a friend-shaped, like, organism. <laughs> Maybe we... Can I... Blah, blah, blah. I need to... I need to heal Asterion, but I don't know... Oh, it's one of the, okay. Yeah. I mean, I... No, I'm not going to use it yet. Maybe I will regret that, but... Where is Asterian? Actually. Oh, Asterian's over there! I'm an idiot. Okay, I just made things worse for Asterian, honestly. Let's cook with fire, baby. Let's cook with fire, baby. Wee! There is one, if you take the Eagle Barbarian Path, I did that on one of my friend's playthroughs, 
for her. Like, I mean, you can pick and choose. Like, we could, we could not be there if we didn't want to be. But Eagle has one where if you're a certain height, you can do a jumping attack and, like, jump down onto somebody like you're an assassin. And, like, totally hit them. Want another? Dang. Did it just laugh? It just laughed. <gasps> we had advantage on that. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Kind of wasted my spell. Alas. Whoa. Blood guzzler garb. Is this? Yeah, it's clothing. Okay, this is something you could give a barbarian. When an enemy damages the wearer, the wearer gains wrath for one turn. No sooner does the blood speck the armor than it's absorbed as if sustaining, sustaining something within. Well, let's give that to Karlak. Bucket. Bone. Shovel! <laughs> oh, why was it? Why did it have a shovel inside it? I'm not going to ask too many questions. Let's see what this looks like. <gasps> you know, I like it actually a lot. I do. I like seeing her biceps. I like seeing her musculature. Uh, but this actually works really, really well. I do like this. Um, let's dye it. Woo! The color does look brown. Is a good color on her. I will have to remember that because it's some nice brown accents maybe on some things. But we're about to dye uh, blue. No, black and summer green. Black and jade. I'm curious what lime, lemon, and lichen looks like. Ooh, I actually really like that. I do. I do. Yep, I like it. That's a, that's a really good dye. Like a good set of colors. Save. going on there's stuff going on over here I'm like, what's going on as I hover my head my camera over there instead of my characters so many mushrooms to pick down here I am quite thrilled about that so lots of lots of short resting and long resting Oy! yikes oh I was already going through it I was being so careful for the rest of it it's a good thing I had everybody sleep jeez wheeze I think they broke Oh, <laughs> jeez Louise. No! We blew up the thing! Uh, I, maybe there's a way then, if we blew that up, I was going to reload, but maybe there's a way to just do a hop, skip, and a jump. I think there is. And we walk right in. Is there anybody? I'm like... and orange how cute i am rustic chest oh hang on keep your distance darling. look i know you don't like me it should be easy but i really would like you to open this easy peasy oh my gosh look at that color it's so good against her skin too look at that it stands out so well hers is like mine like the colors are very vibrant. I did see on one of the last patches they did, or the last patch, whatever it was, they did change it so that the colors were more vibrant for some of the dyes. I don't, I don't think it was all the dyes. I know they said hanging out in these mushrooms wasn't a good idea, but like the spore cloud rather, but Anything but you use? know there's stuff here. Zentrum thugs. Oh yeah. Oathless curse. <gasps> the lot of them. Oathless curse. I mean, we did know. Oh my. We did know that they were under dark. Um, not like denizens, but uh, but they worked with the under dark. At least the drow specifically. Oh, she gets to keep shield of faith until a long rest. Well. Hello. Oh. Okay. I thought that was a concentration spell. 
checking out these upper levels all together was a good idea. <laughs> I'm like, there's definitely a way down, but I don't know. I want to do the upper levels first before I, um, before I move down. The times. Elevator. I did not, that does not look like, I thought it would be going down, but apparently it goes up. Oh, I wonder if this is actually the way, a way, um, to get into the Underdark from the Zentrum hideout. Well, let's see. We might as well I've got try it out. Right ahead. Okay, can't you? It doesn't work. Put me in. Why? It's all like, go to the past. I'm like, no, I'm in the Underdark. Well, why not? Very well. Why can't I use it? I thought maybe I just hadn't thoroughly explored the Zentrum in my doubt. Oh, it's gonna be mad because of the exploded stuff here. They are giving me a lot of um, ways, things that will turn glorious vaulting, jeez. Looper Diddle Swires, no much adventure, could reportedly jump 20 feet in the air. He was about the size of a bantam hen. Um, I just failed a bunch of stuff. We failed another nature check. I mean, uh, but, uh, Carlac was the only one to succeed. But they're like, what are those? Why would we hit these? Oh, because of that! Oh, jeez. Oh, God. I, I was like, if I hit them, will something happen? I didn't think standing right next to him would. That was what the nature check was for. I did kind of think that, and that's why I was like, maybe I'll hit them to see what they do. And then, lo and behold. Oh, there's like real people down there. Like live pe people? They're spore druids? Ah, uh, how much I bet they're spore druids. Um, of some sort, anyway. Let's save, because this is a trap infested minefield down here. Well, I guess I should actually call this one here, because I've been recording for about an hour? Oh, I don't know how these episodes are going to work, but here's hoping. I also want to eat something. I'm hungry. So, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it really quick. I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my icorn tier patrons, Adam and Fane. Thank you all so much for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support overall this time. And I just hope you're doing great. And thank you again. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above, above and beyond in his support of me and the channel, and who I cannot thank enough for just being super nice and super awesome. Thank you. I'm finger gunning in real life. So there you go. <laughs> but thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.